Hi, I'm Andrew Pierce with Epics at Purdue. This is the introductory module for a new student who's in their first time in Epics, and the intent of this is to get you to understand the nature of the Epics course here at Purdue. Um, so jumping into our learning objectives for this particular module, we want you to understand how Epics works here. It can be a lot different than your other courses, and it can take a bit of getting used to. We want you to understand the grading procedures, what we expect of you as a student in Epics, and how you can be successful. We'll talk about some of the resources available to you as an EPIC student. It takes a lot of pieces to get our projects to work and you need to understand what all those pieces are. Um, and then we'll talk some about the emergency and safety procedures in the EPICS labs in case a situation were to arise so you would know how to handle it. Um, so jumping into thinking about the big picture of EPICS. Um, we want you to understand that EPICS is a Purdue course, but it's also a larger organization that you're a part of, making a big impact out in the community. We were founded at Purdue in 1995, um, so getting to be a, a very mature course here, here at Purdue. And the intention was to connect real community partners, so organizations here in the greater Lafayette community, as well as around the world, with students at Purdue who needed experience doing real design work. We have a university program that has expanded beyond Purdue. We're in dozens of universities around the world doing projects similar to what you're doing here, but each one has its own unique local flavor as well as a K-12 program. So there are well over 100 schools participating in the K-12 program, primarily high schools in the United States and Canada. You'll see some younger students come in who have some EPICS experience already. So specifically here, our course at Purdue has some defining characteristics. We do engineering and computing-based design. So we are not an engineering or computing course. We have students from all over the university who can contribute according to their own discipline. So if you're not an engineer or not a computer scientist, don't be afraid. Um, it's engineering computing based projects, but it requires people from all over to make that work. The intent of that is really to replicate how projects work in industry. When I was an engineer in industry, I worked with people from all different types of disciplines in order to get our projects to be successful. We form long-term partnerships with community partners, both here in the greater Lafayette community and abroad. Um, and we do projects for them and we actually design and build and deliver those real projects. There's nothing theoretical about EPICS. These are real projects and every single team, every single project is working to bring a solution to the community partner that can solve a real world need. So we are making a real impact in our community every semester, every year. And you can be a part of that being a student in this course. And that's very exciting. Those partnerships are long term so that our projects can go multiple semesters. And that allows us to do more complex projects. So a lot of courses you have where you do design, you start a project at the beginning of the semester and it ends at the end of the semester and it's fairly straightforward. But that's not how the real world works. If you want to design and build real things for the world, it can take more time. So the team you're coming into will have projects that have already started and you'll have to understand what the last semester did. And then when you leave, new people will take on the work after you go. So you'll need to leave good records so that they can transition uh, to taking on the project after you go. So it's a very important part of being successful in our projects. Our, all of our teams here at Purdue are vertically integrated, meaning we have first year students through seniors working together in a mentorship, menteeship relationship so that the projects can have continuity, they can have different levels of expertise, and everyone can get that experience of working in a team with more senior people and more junior people working hand in hand. Again, this really replicates the way that teams work in industry, and all of our teams are multidisciplinary, as we discussed. Um, EPICS is really intended to be an extended design experience. You can take EPICS for one semester, but to really get the fruits of the labor from working in EPICS, it helps to take it for multiple semesters. So as you take other courses and you gain disciplinary knowledge, you can apply them back into your project and see why it's useful and why it's important. Our educational philosophy in EPICS really drives around having real world experience working for a real person, a real customer, and a real project partner who's working with you um, to drive that hands-on learning. So you learn by doing in EPICS. Um, we do very little book learning or reading, things like that. It's really uh, active, hands-on learning. We try and drive EPICS as much as we can to be professional preparation. This is really driven toward getting you experience that's a bridge toward your real-world work once you graduate and leave Purdue. Um, and again, we really try and have multidisciplinary functions so that you get used to working with people who aren't like you. 
very rarely in industry would you have a team that is five mechanical engineers working on a project with no one else, or five management students working on a project with no one else. Real world teams have people from different backgrounds so they can contribute in different ways. And that's what we try and do here. There are a number of learning objectives in EPICS. We want you to have a lot of outcomes when you leave here. First of all, disciplinary knowledge. While you're not learning from a book, the application and real world hands-on learning will teach you a lot about your own discipline. We want you to learn a design process. No matter what major you come from, you'll need to be able to work a project from the beginning stages where you're trying to figure out what the project is all about and what it means through the end where you actually deliver something to someone who needs it. We want you to learn to be a lifelong learner. Every person in Epics will have to do things that they don't already know how to do. And you're gonna to have to learn to go out, use the resources available to you and learn how to do those things on your own. And that really facilitates lifelong learning because that's how you'll learn once you're out of the university. We want you to learn customer awareness. So all of our project partners have various stakeholders you're gonna to have to engage with. The actual partner organization, the people who they serve, the people in the surrounding community. You'll get to know those people, work with them hand in hand, and learn how to consider all of the various aspects of the project. All of our teams are built with multiple students who have various levels of leadership and management from the advisor and TA in the project. So you'll learn how to work in all of those sort of industrial settings. And then communication, ethics, and social context will come in the context of those projects. So you'll have to share what you're doing with other people, work with other people, and consider how you're affecting them. So those are all important things to consider as you go through your EPICS course. Um, EPICS really will be what you make of it. I was an EPICS student when I was an undergraduate here at Purdue, and the project that we designed and built and delivered out to our community partner, which was a local school for children with special needs, um, was a life-changing and professionally changing experience for me. We built a musical box that could be used by children with disabilities, and when we brought it out and could see the way their faces lit up when they played that musical instrument, made me see that being a designer, being a professional in industry, gave me the ability to make real impact in people's lives. So we hope that you have those kind of transformational experiences, and if you really throw yourselves into epics, you could get those kind of things out of it. And it really can be preparation to become a leader, both in industry, government, in your local community, there are a lot of leadership opportunities in EPICS, and if you take those on head on, you'll learn the skills you'll need to apply them once you leave here and move on in your career. Uh, so some of the keys to success in EPICS, ask a lot of questions. EPICS can be overwhelming and confusing at times because real design is hard, and you're doing real design here in EPICS. It's hard for people who are professionals. It's definitely hard for students. So ask questions. Get outside of your comfort zone and try new things. Uh, learn to see your project from your project partner's perspective. So learn to use them as a resource, not as someone who you're coming in to do work for, but that you're coming to work with. Um, listen to your stakeholders and your project partners. Actually think about what their needs are and try and respect those. Um, we really need you to respect and care for the EPICS equipment and labs. If you take care of them, then they'll be there for you to make good use of. So make use of our space and have fun. Um, try to be flexible. Sometimes with real world projects, you can get a curveball in the middle of the semester that'll take you in a whole different direction than you expected. And just learn to be agile and go with those. Have fun and try and make a difference with your community partners. And remember, all of the projects that you deliver mean the world to your community partners. So give them your very best effort in everything that you do.